Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. Uh, the purpose of it is to show you a brief description of uh, all the features that we have at Prismic. So we know that uh, the first time you start creating a project can be uh, very frightening when you start uh, using a new tool. So we want to, to make your life easier and to show you how easy it is to um, uh, create and edit content uh, with Prismic. So I'm going to start here uh, with the writing room where you have all your content listed. You will have different filtering options uh, such as type, author, translation, and also a flag button to go uh, in between the locales you've created before. So the content that we have here, it's uh, for this website. Um, and as you can see, this website is divided in different components or sections, um, like this banner with the title and a call to action. Uh, this image with a title, a uh, short description, and a link, and so on. So how this uh, is represented in Prismic is uh, with what we call slices. So uh, when I go inside my document, you will find two parts, a static part and a plus button that will take you to uh, the slices zone. So uh, these slices have been created before in your template or custom type. And the great thing about slices is that it will give you a lot of flexibility. It will um, allow you to be more independent from the developers, so you don't have to ask them for doing small changes. You can mix and match these slices. You can move them around very easily with this uh, arrow button. You can delete one slice, or you can create one in between two of them. So I want to show you how to do a very uh, quick change. We have here the title, and I will add happy to have you and I will rearrange the slices also so this big image uh, banner that you saw I will put it down and uh, you can see that now I have two versions of my document I have a green one which is the live version the published one and uh, when I did the change I created a draft which is yellow and I'm not affecting the published version I will save uh, my document and we can preview the change I made. So this will refresh and you can see the longer title and that my slice is moved and now I have the image down of it. So you can see how easy it is to do some changes around and uh, additionally you will have the option to uh, copy this document to other locales. You can either copy all the content including the text or you can copy only the structure of the, of the slices and the assets. Um, additionally, for uh, following the changes that you have made in your, in, your, in your document, you can go to the history button where you can uh, move through the changes that you make and even restore a uh, previous version. Uh, finally, you can have uh, different options for publishing. You have the option to publish the document now. You can uh, publish it at a specific date and time, which is very useful for, for example, a blog post. If you want to publish it at midnight, you don't have to be awake for doing so. You can just uh, choose the date and the time where you want to do it. And finally, you can publish a document during a release. So releases serve a purpose of folders where you can stack different documents. So let's say I want to um, change the looks of my uh, website for summer. So I'm going to do a different home page. I'm going to do a different uh, blog post and a product page. So I will stack all these different documents in my release that I will call summer. And I will have the option to preview all of them or uh, published in bulk. So I hope that you find all this information very useful. And um, uh, you will have more videos that will talk more about these different features more in depth. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye.